YouTube! I'm Hexella, and today's video is about the T10. I'm going to show you how to get all the mats and materials you need to tap for the T10 horse. Doom is coming out soon, so we gotta be prepared. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Let's hop into it! Okay, you're going to want to come here. This is Stonetail Ranch. They will have uh, two NPCs here where you should get quests. This NPC, which she gives you mats for a T9. Did you know that a horse race was You have your choice of three. Abilities. Pick one of these. Horses grow according to the owner. Once you have picked these mats, you're gonna run up here. He's all the way in the back, so it's kind of hidden. But you're wanna gonna come here. He has a bunch of quests for you, weeklies and daily, and you also have the daily, which goes off of your uh, training level. So if you're an artisan, you have an artisan level. If you're a master, you have a master level, so on and so forth. Then you have your option of these two weeklies here. You either turn in a uh, Dodgle Stone. I think I said that right. Or you make 600 carat confetti. I also don't know how to say that one. But you pick either or. I pick the carrot one because I like tapping for T9s. Um, and the stone is what you need for the T9 taps. This one gives you the much needed feather. Uh, it's one of the bottlenecks. Now on for capturing a horse. So uh, this is one of the locations of where to get the horse. It's Duvencroon. It's one of my favorite locations. It also has a high level of uh, horses, tier of horses. Um, here's one other location and there is another. And then if you go up here, you have uh, two locations by Heidel and then one by Velia. There are other horse capture locations. I just know, I just have these ones memorized. Now, to capture a horse, you will need rope and you will need lumps of sugar. Now when capturing a horse, you don't want to get too close because you'll spook the horse. So you want to get at a distance and then play the mini game. Now when the horse does this, you're going to tap your spacebar. Before you had to practically break your keyboard, but PA fixed it and now you just lightly tap your spacebar, which is a lovely quality of life change. <laughs> the horse will do this either a couple times or just none at all depending on the horse. And then once you succeeded, you walk up close enough to the horse, you feed it lumps of sugar. Now it'll give you these notifications. If it's a positive notification, climb on top of the horse. And then the quest is finished. So you are going to want to take this horse to a stable. Now here you finish your quest, pick your T9 mount that you would like. You know that a horse race go back up to this dude and complete this quest and get all of your mats that you would need for your uh, T10. Now onwards to training horses! 
So you can use a wagon or you can single train. Wagons um, let you train four horses at once or two, depending on the wagon. Um, these are pets. So depending on the pet type, you can have pets that help you uh, train your horse. So you have training EXP or you have mount EXP. Um, just depends on uh, what selections you pick. These pets help me train my horses, as you can see. Over here, we have the buffs. So you can pop these buffs. Um, I would do them overnight if you would like to leave your computer on. They are pretty long buffs. Some of them, some are for one hour, some are for three. Others are for ten hours. So it depends on what you would like to do. I usually do them at night for when I'm not doing anything. It's good to pop these buffs. And then you got Manos Trainer's Clothes. To wear and you also have artifacts and light stones that also help you train your horse and the highly recommended manos crop you should have one of these um, they help your horse move faster and the training also here is the pay to win trainers clothes this is what the hat and the armor look like. It's actually pretty cute. Also, you can get the functional clothing in the marketplace. Um, you got fine horse trainer clothes here. But they are pretty hard to get in the marketplace. They're usually sold out. I mean, there's four plus fours here. They're very expensive too. And then you have down here the other clothing which is sold out. I believe an NPC has these to where you can buy a mountain. Now, on to Imperialing. So once a horse is level 15, you can take it to a stable and Imperial horse delivery. This gets you T10 mats right here. You will need a hundred of those little flower thingies um, for each tap. Okay, so you want to go to an old moon manager for the sensor molds. You will need one of these for each tap as well. Now, you would also need, depending on which one you go for, which uh, type of combination, you would need 100 of each of these pure crystals. You can get them <laughs> in the marketplace, or you can make them. They are usually sold out in the market. Um, copper crystals aren't that hard to get, but the other two are pretty hard. Um, you can put out a pre-order. It does take two weeks to uh, do a tap because of the bottlenecks and the weeklies. So it should fill up depending. Here is where you would do your magical light stones. You would go to this NPC and turn in um, light stones that you don't need or want. You can exchange it to this lovely scrumptious food, right? I mean, shy, beautiful little, sh I, I mean, sweet, sweet shy. Yes. Wow, I am so sick. I'm making time for you. So, you exchange here, you get your light stone, your magical light stones, which um, is the other option besides the moonlight opal. Um, so, you would need 300 of these instead of the 100 moonlight opal. Um, they're very much in stock, so you should not have an issue of getting 300 of these. Um, for the other thing, instead of the platinum, pure platinum crystal, you would make this. You heat up blue grade 
accessories. They have to be pry or try. Or they have to be pry, duo, or try. And here is how you make your... Horse statue. I call it a horse statue. <laughs> you manufacture it. So you put all those items in and your person starts the manufacture. Then once that is complete, you grind up these. You would need a hundred each of these, by the way. The fern, everlasting herb, fruit of enchantment, and blackstone powder. And then grind it up until you have ten of them. And when is that complete? You add it all together. And you manufacture. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you out a lot for your T10 Doom that is coming out um, or any other T10 that you're going with. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you like the video, please like the video. I'll see you next time. Bye! Mwah.